All the time I worked with Quick Filter its graphic user interface using keyboard and the mouse, but it's also possible to work with Quick Filter its programming interface. We call this active field. We call this interface the active field. You can control Quick Filter from within other Windows applications including your own application or for example office makers all actions you do through graphic user interface are available in programming interface too we utilize this interface ourselves when developing add-ons to quickfield core package and I would like to show you one of them, the Label Mover. Label Mover is a small utility. It is good for parametric analysis. It can perform serial calculations, tolerance analysis, and optimization. So let me show you. how to use label mover this is my inductor and for example we need to heat some steel wheel prior to placing it on the shaft. This is my steel wheel. But I have the same inductor. But I have other object to hit. So we have other value of inductance. And we have to adjust either the frequency or the capacitance of our AC power supply. Yes, this is AC magnetic problem with the same frequency. And I have the external circuit now attached to my problem. And this is the power supply. This is my heated body and this is my conductor, my coil. Let's take a look at the result. Here is the current distribution. And you may notice that the magnetic field screen would be useful here. I don't need to hit this part of my body. Well, I have an electric circuit, so I can take a look at my electric circuit when analyzing result. Now my voltage supply has zero pace, but the current has the six degrees shift. Well, I would like it to be zero. So I need either to change the frequency or the capacitance. Now, how label mover can help us? Let's perform a simple optimization. I choose my base problem, my inductor. 
I would like to measure the current phase and I would like it to be zero. This is my goal to make the current phase zero. What I can change? Well, I would change the frequency in my problem. Say within two kilohertz. So I have the base problem. I specify the value I would like to have and I specify the variation. Now let's do optimization. You see label more solve the problem, measure the value then ask Quickfield to change the frequency, measure the value again, see that it is not the value I desire and ask to Quickfield to solve the problem again, to change the frequency again. And again, 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 till it gets the result I needed. Here it is, I need to change the frequency by 640 hertz and in this case I will have zero current phase. The same way you can perform serial calculations you just ask to change some value with fixed step and ask to measure some other value for example change the frequency with step, fixed step and measure the current phase. And another option is to perform tolerance analysis. That's all for now with QuickField. Thank you.